name is Tom Burke. I'm with IOLINE Corporation, and this is one in a series of videos concerning IOLINE Design. In this video, we're going to take a look at the scanning and vectorization functions in IOLINE Design 2. If your version of IOLINE Design does not have scanning and tracing, you can, it is available as an upgrade from IOLINE. Now, we've started out by importing in a bitmapped image. In other words, this is a collection of dots. It could be a JPEG, a .tif, or a .bmp type of file. And we're going to convert it into a vector image that can be used in Crystal Studio. We have the image selected, and we'll come over here and we'll click on the first icon in the scanning functions. And that brings in these tools. First, we have to select the correct set of parameters for the nature of the image we're working with. So you can pull down this window, and there are any number to choose from. Choose the one that is closest to the particular design you're working with. We'll use long lines and curves in this instance. And then we'll go to our posterization function. This breaks the design down into a smaller number of colors. Really here we're only working with two colors, but let's go ahead and say we're working with three. And we'll click on OK. And now we go up here to the vectorization tools. We'll click on vectorization. And what's happening is we're simply tracing that bitmapped image and turning it into a vectorized image. Now having done that, we're actually looking at two separate images. We'll turn on our Select tool, and that selects the vectorized image, and we'll draw it away from the bitmapped image, or rather, we'll draw the bitmapped image away from the vectorized image. And we'll hit Delete now, because we really don't need that bitmapped image anymore. Another thing we don't need is this box around the design. And what we can do to get rid of that and any other shapes we don't need is first go to Layout and Ungroup All. When the image is first vectorized, all those images are locked together. And what we're going to do is break them apart by clicking on Ungroup All. And then we can select certain portions that we don't want, for instance, this box, and just hit Delete. Let's zoom in there so we can see this design a little better. Now, there are some shapes in this design which uh, honestly would be a problem with rhinestones. In other words, uh, they might look like a very good addition to this design as simple vectors, but once you put rhinestones on them, it's going to create a kind of clutter of rhinestones. So we're going to delete some of the shapes we're working with here. Go to our Select tool, and let's click on this little image here, for instance. We'll hit Delete and take that out. By the same token, this shape up here, we'll drop that out of the image, once again by selecting it and then deleting it. And let's get rid of this little shape here, too. And this shape here might benefit from being moved away from the other lines here. Now, I'm doing that by selecting it and then hitting the arrow keys. Okay, now at this point, let's go ahead and export this design to Crystal Studio. So we'll select the whole design. We'll go to File, Export to Ioline. Tell it OK. And we'll call it Eagle One. So now we'll go to Crystal Studio, and we'll open that file. And there
here's our scan design. We'll go to layers. And let's use a 6SS stone because it's still a pretty tight design. And we'll click on layer visible. And there's your design.